Hi, good day everyone. I hope everyone is uh, fitting well today. What we're going to be doing today, we're doing legs today, just leg routine. Um, it's not about the training, it's just easier to control that way. It, it, uh, it forces you to push harder because you've got a certain time frame. Okay, so we've got uh, seven exercises to do. We've got in and out squats. We've got crab walks for the outer thighs and the bum. We've got dumbbell glute kickbacks for the hamstring and bum, lower back. We've got band knee ins to work the hip flexors, front part of the leg, quadriceps and the abs. You have got pistol squats to do, okay. Each side also be good for the bum. We do reverse lunges with a stiff legged. And we've got inner thigh with the band, okay. So we're going to set the timer on uh, 30 seconds working time. A 15 second break and we're going to do three to four rounds, okay. I'm back, I forgot my chair, okay. That is for pistol squats, okay, I'm going to sit down on the chair for it. Alright, <clears throat> so I'm going to set it up. Alright, are we getting ready? So the first one is in and out squats. Just make sure you do a warm up first. All right, make sure there's legs are warm. In and out squats. Go all the way down. 30 seconds working time. Remember, that's it. Nice deep squats. Land with a flat foot. Push off with the heels. Work in the bump area and the quads. That's it. Keep it going, chin up, chest out, remember your core, keep your core nice and tight, okay. Alright, next thing we're going to do is use a band, we're going to do crab walks, put the band up just above the knee, bending down in this position, and you're just doing the crab walks from left. To right. Okay. Keeping it going all the time. Keeping your bum down in that squat position. Chin up, chest out. Keep the core nice and tight. Important. Okay. Don't lean forward and slouch your back. Okay. Excellent. Right. The next thing we're going to do is the dumbbell kickback. Using the dumbbell, position it behind the knee, nicely tight, and coming up, working your bum on the left side. You're going to go and for focus on the bum area and your hand, you'll feel your hamstring working as well, because you're holding the weight. Don't rush the exercise, take your time with the exercise, make sure you do it properly. Excellent. 15 second break. Hook it in nice and tight so it doesn't slip. And away we go. Working your bum on the right side. Keeping it going, keeping the back nice and straight, keeping your core tight all the time. Keeping it going, focusing on the bum area. That's it. Nice and strong. Keep it going. Alright, excellent. Okay. Right from here, we're going to use the band. So any kind of theraband, very resistant. Hook your foot through. Make sure it's stable. We're going to do the hip flexors. Holding on. That's it. Bring the knee in to the chest. Get it up. There we go. The 
This is working the front part of your leg. Get right up. That's it. Right, go to the other side. Exercise. 
is uh, 30 seconds working time and a 15 second break. All right, so you're in and out of squats. You've got the crab walks. We've done the boot kickbacks, okay? We've done uh, the band knee ends. We've done the pistol squats on the other side. We've done the reverse lunges with the stiff legged. And we've done the inner thigh with the band. Three or four rounds on it. It's not a very bad uh, um, routine. It's not, a, it's not a difficult routine to do. So you should be able to do three to four rounds out quite comfortably. Remember after each round, a minute to two minute break, depending on your fitness level and your recovery, you guys should be getting fitted now, so I reckon a minute should be long enough for those rest breaks. Have a super day further, enjoy your leg workout, and then we'll see you all tomorrow. Be safe, take care.